What is up guys? It's The Real Deal. Welcome back to the channel. Guys, today we're going to do something a little different. We are going to be building a tier list for Hydra, nukes, damage dealers, the best, you know, the most fun champions in the game. Um, there will be no mythicals on the list, but I do want to give a shout out to Lazarus and Garol. I mean, they do some insane damage on Hydra, so I feel like they do deserve a shout out. But I want to keep it to epics and legendaries only, more accessible to the player base. Uh, unfortunately, only three epics did make it on the list. Um, you know, but I want to showcase champions that don't just do like from normal to nightmare. Mainly, like you know, we're going to be doing it all, so we want to be focusing on nightmare. Um, how do I base my list? How do we build the list? So for me, obviously, I prefer champions that can do damage, but also bring something else to the table, some utility. But then some champions can get away with it just because they just do such raw damage. So let's start building the tier list together. So guys, this is the tier list that we're going to be building. Um, we've got 16 champions on the list. Let me know in the comments below anyone that you think I've missed off. And you can see we're going from S++ down to D. There's only going to be one champion that's S++, someone that stands out a mile compared to the rest. But if you guys can guess, drop in the comments below who you think it's going to be. So we're going to go in hard and fast. We're going to go with Acrisia first, and she has to be S tier. Um, she just hits so hard. She's not bringing much else to the table, but the damage that she can do is just on another level. She's a very unique champion. She's the only champion in the game that has enemy max HP on every single ability. So that's why she can pump out those big numbers. Uh, also in her passive, she reduces um, AOE damage by 50%. So she's naturally super, super tanky. But yeah, such a beast. Great Hydra champion. The next one on the list is going to be Michi Michinaki. Uh, one of my most wanted champions. Really, really want him. And he's also S tier. Um, don't worry, guys. Not everyone's going to be S tier on the video. But yeah, Michi just has like insane damage. But he also brings a lot to the table. Uh, he's A3. He has a Hex, which is great for the head of Mischief. Uh, he's throwing out um, decreased attack on the A2. For basically, it's good for all the heads, but specifically for the head of Wrath as well. And then we got HP burn as well on his A1. So yeah, bringing a lot to the table. So insane damage, um, loads of utility. Um, he is very, very stat hungry. So you're going to need speed, accuracy, defense, and then crit rate and crit damage as well. But definitely worth investing in and trying to get all those stats into him because he will do work for you. So then we've got our first epic, Royal Guard. I'm going to put him at C tier. He is an attack champion, so he's kind of squishy. Um, so not as strong as the rest. I mean, he can still be used in Nightmare Hydra. I have used him in uh, Nightmare. Uh, but yeah, a little bit squishy. Does do enemy hacks for HP damage. AoE on the A2. Um, he's also thrown out a um, decrease speed, which is great for Hydra. Three times at random. And then on the A1, decreased defense as well. But he's just a little bit squishy. And compared to the rest, he's just not as strong. He's still a great champion, but that's why we sort of put him down a little bit further. So Furion, I am going to put you at A tier for now. He is sort of in between S and A tier. Um, great HP burn champion. Um, you know, bringing a lot. Again, bringing so much to the table. Uh, filling turn meter so every time that he does that hp burn so it's a crazy crazy passive that's going on but most important he fills turn meter for each hp burn he lands so if we land hp burn on every single hydra head that's four we are going to fill everyone's turn meter by 20 percent. that is huge um he also has one of the best aoe revives in the game um it is a 50 percent hp aoe revive with 40% turn meter fill. I mean, that is just absolutely crazy. Um, probably better than most revivers that you put in Hydra. Like, such a sick champion. Then we've got Sissia, who I'm going to put a, a B tier champion. 
Um, and just to say as well, like with any HP burn champion, you want to take Master Hexa in your masteries. It just means that their HP burns can stay on for longer and you will do more damage. So definitely, definitely worth doing. Again, I use her for Nightmare. She is a great HP burn champion, but just not as good as Sulfurion. Um, so she's doing, yeah, she's also got, you have to program her kit. She's got a funky AI. So you want to make sure that A3 goes first as she throws out HP burn. Then she'll do the A2. Um, so she's going to do drop defense and weaken. And she'll do HP burn activation as well. So she does do a lot of damage, but she just doesn't, she's just not quite as good as Sulfurion. Gina, Gnu, where am I going to stick you? I'm going to put you at A tier for now. I might drop him down. Um, obviously, his A, I think it's his A3. Is, it, is his A3? His A3 is the triple hitter. So a triple hitter that just, you know, melts heads. Insane damage on that. Also, an AoE on the A2 that does weaken and decrease attack. Uh, the only thing I don't like about him is that he does put... Um, counter attack on himself and it can get stolen from the head of mischief get spread across and that can that can cause you to wipe so that's why i'm not a huge fan of um Gnut, but he does do insane damage so he's a great great champion i mean i do use him um but it's just the counter attack that's the only thing that kind of sucks with him so we're on another hp burn champion is supreme gaelic and i'm going to put him in s tier uh, he does insane damage with those hp burns He's also bringing a block buffs as well. And I just value block buffs so much. That's why I'm putting above Sulfurion. I mean, it's really hard to say that one is better than the other. I mean, Sulfurion's boosting term ER and also giving us revives. Do you know what? I, I feel that actually Sulfurion is better than uh, Supreme Gaelic. And talking of Gaelic as well, I think that Ulmer Gaelic and Normal Gaelic just suck balls. They are just terrible champions, especially compared to like Supreme Gaelic is just on another level compared to the, the other Gaelics. But um, yeah, but yeah, getting back to Ultimate Ga uh, Supreme Gaelic, yeah, he is a great, great champion. Razzle Varg, oh, I think I'm going to put him at A tier as well. Um, you know, so he does like loads of damage. He's constantly boosting his own turn meter, getting loads of turns in turns in getting loads of turns in um he's increasing like increased speed buff increased accuracy um also has a leech as well which is going to help keep the team alive also with that speed aura as well just a great great champion and yeah just pumping out some big numbers for damage husk husk i'm gonna put a b tier hp champion naturally tanky um, again, AoE max enemy HP damage on the A2, but also brings a provoke as well. And I do use his provoke a lot. So big fan of the husk and usable in Nightmare. Rathalos, I am going to put him at C tier. Um, I just feel like he's not as strong as the other champions on this list. Uh, you do need to pair him up with the HP burn champion. It means he will do more damage. Um, it'll do 50% more damage and receive 25% less damage. Also has a bit of a weird A2, which I don't like. So basically it's a single target hit, but um, every second time you use it, it is an AoE hit. I don't understand why it can't just be an AoE hitter. Uh, but yeah, it's a little bit squishy as an attack champion. Um, so that's why I'm sort of ranking him down a little bit lower. But he's still a good, good, uh, still a good champion. I haven't seen him used in Nightmare, but I'm sure you can. Um, Michelle, 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 Michelle. I think I'm going to pay him at A tier. Um, again, he's an attack champion, but he just is constantly boosting turn meter. Pair him up with someone like a Necmo. They are both going to be just boosting turn meter. You'll get loads of turns in, uh, loads of turns in, and you'll just keep overrunning the Hydra heads. Um, yeah, he's also, again, he brings in a Leech. Uh, damage and I think a uh, continuous heal as well so he can keep the team alive but I guess the thing I don't like about him is that he does bring in I think increased crit damage and if those heads steal it it's just annoying because it can be used against you Trunda I'm probably going to put Trunda 
of course she's our number one s plus plus um she's like the core of all those teams that are doing like 200 million billion gazillion damage on nightmare and normal i mean most people like well god tier like the players that you know the mega whales and krakens that can do it are using it on nightmare the normal people the peons like you and myself are using her in normal and hard but she can pump out some insane damage for you you are like just yeah millions and billions and gazillions damage so she doesn't bring anything else apart from damage but it's all about that a2 when one of the heads goes down and you get that a2 proc across the heads it just does insane damage um also her a3 hits really hard of course you want to pair up with someone like kaimar or yumiko if you're lucky enough to have those champions but yeah she is just full god mode when it comes to hydra no one is on the same level as hide uh as trunda no one comes even close to the sort of damage that she can do so yeah of course she had to be on a category of her own so then we've got whisper who is an attack champion single target she is going to be c tier um hard to keep alive um she does have a passive where she does an extra 20 percent damage to bosses in her passive so that's great but being single target makes her a little bit weaker i do like aoe champions because just if someone gets eaten by the head of mischief you do want to be able to target so that kind of sort of hinder it's a bit of a hindrance makes her a little bit weaker so that's kind of why it's just a little bit it's what i don't like about a kit it makes us suck a little bit our attack i'm gonna put him at c tier another hp burn champion oh we got four hp burn champions in the mix um also brings a decrease attack as well which is great but apart from that he just does sort of hp burn damage um does have hp burn activation as well but i think the problem with his kit is that he's that he sort of runs out of hp burn so makes him a little bit weaker does have um all of his abilities are aoe attacks though so maybe if you put him like a hex kit um you can get some more damage out of him so actually saying that i do want to actually maybe bump him up a bit because i've not put him in hex or provoke so actually that does give him a lot more utility then we're going to bring in harima who i feel is b tier she does hit really hard her damage builds up over time and increases her defense she's super tanky and easy to keep alive um, she's throwing out provoke she is she can uh, provoke but it's not a constant provoke and she does do an aoe um, decrease attack uh, but i just feel like she doesn't do as much damage as the other champions however my harima is built for arena so she doesn't have war master she's got a uh, helm smasher so maybe that's why she's not smacking as much as hard as she could for hydra and again, I've not built her specifically for Hydra. But yeah, she is a great champion though. Still like absolutely love her to bits. Taris. Where am I going to stick Taris? I feel like he's probably A tier. Um, yeah, yeah. I'm going to put him in A tier. Um, so obviously he's super tanky. You want to be building with at least 100k plus HP um obviously god tier for arena but he's not as strong for hydra as that he is for arena um obviously he's got that a3 with the more buffs that you have the more damage you will do it's kind of like seer um you know sort of how she does her karma burn very very similar to that um saying that though because you need to bring in loads of buffs you probably want those buffs to be protected so lots of protection gear protect those buffs or you're going to need to block buffs from the um, head of Mischief. Um, yeah, and then on the A, I'd lock out his A2, just use the A1. It's going to fill um, turn meter. And yeah, it's just going to be constantly feeling sort of turn meter. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, so I'm just going to have a look at the list. I'm pretty happy with that. I don't think I would change it, but... I mean, all these champions can pretty much be used in Nightmare. And uh, like minimum they will be is Brutal. Um, 
but yeah, I'm, I'm happy with the tier list. I don't think I would change anything on it. Let me know what you guys think. What would you change differently? Is there anyone that you'd bump up or bump down? Let me know. Well, thanks so much for watching, guys. Please leave me a cheeky thumbs up. Make sure you smash, smash, smash that subscribe, and I'll catch you all in a video soon. Peace.